Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The former WBC champion Deontay Wilder finds himself as a ranked fighter for the first time in five years. The WBA, the first sanctioning body since Wilder's loss on February the 22nd to include him in their updated rankings. And I wanted to say a top 15 then, but the WBA either has changed the way it does its rankings or it's got some sort of malfunction on its website because it's no longer a top 15, it's a top 12. And you can see here on screen this is the 12 initially i thought this is some sort of error but uh, i go through the uh, different divisions and also top 12 so it could still be an error but it's uh, interesting for the fact that many of us have been uh, moaning about freza kendo being ranked at number 15 and being in the rankings for so many years as a result of this um, update which may be an error freza kendo not ranked but i'll talk about that later because a couple of other fighters dip out as well of this uh, top 12 update uh, but starting at the top before we get to Wilder, so Trevor Bryan, number one still, he is the interim champion in the WBA. A purse bid has been called with Manuel Cha, otherwise known as Mahmoud Cha. He seems to be going between those two names on social media. Maybe they will actually fight. Maybe we will get a situation where the belts, the interim title as it were, and the regular title, which Manuel Char has not defended since winning it in 2017, and Brian not defending the interim title since he won it in 2018, maybe there will be a so-called unification. Remembering the WBA has four titles, count it, four. So you have Brian and Char, but then you also have the super champion, which is the real champion, Anthony Joshua, and a gold champion which is joe joyce although other sanctioning bodies don't really recognize that gold title however it would be good to see some sort of resolution with char and brian so at number two though deontay wilder joins the fray in the wba your king is here high ranking and it's likely across the board with the other sanctioning bodies he's also going to get a high ranking probably within the top six or so Unlikely he's going to be contesting for any version of a WBA heavyweight title. He's got the immediate rematch with Tyson Fury. Date and venue still TBC, but Wilder has indicated he is going to go for the rematch and try regain his title and uh, rise like a phoenix and all that sort of stuff, as he put it. We will regain the title. I will be back. So at number three, Alexander Usyk, he is still waiting on his WBO mandatory. So we'll have to see what happens, but it looks like he'll be facing Derek Chisora on May the 23rd. Eddie Hearn, Usyk's co-promoter, says that's the date that they're targeting for a Chisora fight. He's ranked lower down here in the WBA. Number four, Adam Kovnatsky fighting Robert Hellenius in a week's time, March 7th. Luis Ortiz, he is down one. Everyone basically moves down one for Deontay Wilder. Luis Ortiz, we don't know what he's going to do for his next fight. A lot of talk about Andy Ruiz Jr., but then Andy Ruiz Jr. came out and said, actually, I need a tune-up in six months' time in August. And then I'll think about fighting Luis Ortiz. So no word on what's happening with Ortiz, but Ruiz is below Luis Ortiz. He's at number six. And as I mentioned, feels he needs a tune up first. Even though in statements on social media, he's saying stuff like, who do you want me to fight next? Which I just can't wrap my head around, given he's saying he needs a tune up. Are we meant to be picking his tune up opponent? Or is he just trying to throw out, hey, what big big name fighter do you want me to see? Because it won't be possible because I'm going to have tune up first bizarre number seven robert hellenius fighting adam kovnatsky as i mentioned hellenius he was only parachuted into the wba rankings at the start of the year because of this kovnatsky fight very sort of cynical move from the wba after his loss to uh, gerald washington mid 2019 just the one tune-up fight ahead of this kovnatsky fight he's got a puncher's chance he is a big puncher adam kovnatsky doesn't move his head a lot but kovnatsky's pressure and volume may end up being too much for robert hellenius 
Alexander Povetkin at 8. He is going to be fighting Dillian White. Date and venue still TBC. So it's basically locked in. Possibly May the 2nd. We'll have to see. And it's a little bit of a shame that he didn't have the immediate rematch with Michael Hunter. That was a very good fight back in December in Saudi Arabia. And Michael Hunter is one spot below him at 9th. Um, Hunter seemingly sort of in the wind. Not really sort of uh, sure what he's up to next. Waiting for an opportunity. Waiting for a big fight but seemingly um, a lot of people are just sort of turning the other way when Michael Hunter calls their name. Derek Chisora as I mentioned he's looking to fight Alexander Usyk that's potentially for May the 23rd. Uh, Ajit Kabayal he is going to be fighting March the 28th in Germany. We'll have to see who the opponent is. Not locked in at this point, or as far as I could see. That's an SES card. Peter Kaderu is also going to be on that card, the up-and-coming prospect out of the SES stable from Germany. And number 12, Kubrat Pulev. 12 and final entrant in the WBA top 12. I almost said top 15. So not sure what's going on here with this um WBA rankings if it's an error some sort of loading malfunction uh, Pulev though uh, he obviously is waiting for a shot against Anthony Joshua still waiting on the dates and if they don't agree uh, pretty quickly it could go to a purse bid uh, but in terms of the guys that dropped out because of the um, top 12, whatever's going on here, you had Mladen Malas. You also had Shondell Winters. He was at 14 last month. He was probably going to drop out anyway because of his loss to Joseph Parker. And Fraser Kendo, who has been waiting forever and a day for his title shot. But it's hard to know if he's really pushing for it in terms of him being mid 40s what is he 46 47 now hasn't fought since 2014 is owed a title shot it's almost come off a couple of times but events have conspired where it title shots haven't gone through shannon briggs briggs popped dearly for peds and then manuel char he failed a test uh, so Fraser Kendo, what's happening with him? Is he really game for a fight? Do we really need to see it? Is he just looking for some sort of court-ordered settlement or cash out? I'd probably lean towards that way. But um, for the first time in a long time, he's not in the WBA rankings, as it were, as of they stand at the time that this video was published. Maybe we'll end up seeing a top 15 restored in short order, but we'll see. But it's a top 12 for now. Deontay Wilder entering at number two. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.